Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Kim, and you're on my channel. Today, you're joining me as I play Realm of the Mad God. It's a free-to-play game on Steam or on your browser. I do like free-to-play games, guys. Seriously, I do. It's nice. You guys can come and play with me on them and stuff like that, I think. I don't know how you add friends, honestly, or if you even can in this game, but... Alright, take a, take a quick moment to listen to the soundtrack. This is a soundtrack that plays through the whole game. I'm not going to leave it on while I, while I play. It kind of annoys me. This is this. The whole time. For hours. It's not bad. Oh my gosh, no. Go away. I, need, I, I should really fix that. Let me put myself... Uh, on do not disturb. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, Skype. Sometimes I forget to to put on do not disturb. So I'm gonna click on here. What am I doing today? Okay. So I'm trying to unlock some of these higher level guys. Uh, and at the same time have some fun. So I've played the archer up to level 20, which is what you have to do to unlock things. I played the rogue up to level 7 before I died. I played the wizard up to level five, level 5 before I died. But I really want to play the wizard. And I really want to get good at him because I want to unlock... Where is it? The necromancer. It sounds really cool. So that's what we're going to try to unlock first is the necromancer. So sometimes this happens. When you're in full screen, it doesn't let you hit the play button. So I'm going to be right back after I hit the play button. Yeah, I have no idea why it does that. But that's what it does. So here we are. This is our wizard. He shoots missiles out. Looks like... I don't know, balls of, balls, more or less. Now, balls of arcane energy, oh, that's, a lot, that's a lot of people in there, but I don't want to be in some place with zero people either. There's normally like one really busy place and then a lot of other places with hardly anybody in there. But we're going to go in here. As a wizard, I hold a staff. I can have like a uh, robe and then uh, everybody can have um, some sort of ring. And when you spawn, you kind of want to stay closer to the shore at first, typically. Everyone else further up does a lot more damage. Uh, and as a mage, you do get a fire spell to start off with. And you do get to use spells. So that When you hit the space bar, it goes shooting, shooting out. And it does muchos, muchos damage, which is good. So I want to get in here and, and see if I can't loot that. It looked like it wasn't available for me to loot. But I do want to see what it was because it looked interesting. Uh, it disappeared? I don't know. It didn't look like I could, I could actually wield it anyway, which is okay. That I missed that. Oh, there it is. It's a, come back there, power wand, usable by priest or sorcerer. So I'm going to grab it right now just because it looks cool, but I can't use it. And you can't like spec into anything like that where you can actually like start using them. Different weaponry. You're just, you're just kind of stuck with what you, what you get as your class's main role. So you can see on the right hand side my health is HP. My MP would be my mana basically. And um, it goes down when I... I shoot off the fireballs, um, but being a wizard means that I'm going to be really squishy uh, and that I'm going to die easily, but that I do quite a bit of damage, especially if I hit with both of my uh, my missiles on one target. So I'm kind of sitting around now, going to kill these guys as I wait for a new quest to come up. There you go, it gave me one. There's a bandit leader over here. Alright, this guy's, th th these bunnies are kind of annoying, a little bit scary even. They just, they just shoot fire at you as they, like, berserk in your face. I'm gonna berserk all over your face, man! No. Please don't. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of, of, uh, of the rabbits, though, so I like to kind of kite them the best I can. Once, once they go into, like, their angry mode, they're kind of scary, to be honest. But we're gonna try to get up here and kill this bandit leader, um, without ourselves dying, which is, is a little bit harder said than done at times. All right, he's running. He wants to get away, so we got him. All right, grab this uh, health, this uh, MP potion. I'm just calling mana pot. I think health pots and mana pot. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, that that's the plan there. Okay, so it wants me to go down there now for a quest for another bandit leader. But I do want to kind of kill this guy first since I'm here. See if I can't get him. Really wish I had more health. See, it's uh, some kind of like a saber or sword that I can't wield, so I'm going to back away. Okay, so someone must have killed the bandit leader for us. We're going to go up here. This this playthrough, like what I'm going to be doing with this is basically, I'm doing this a lot for myself. This is a game that I actually really kind of enjoy. Um, so I'm just kind of like putting this out there in case you guys want to watch me play. You don't, may not want to. You may not want to. You may have no interest 
interest in it at all, and that's fine, of course. But um, but I am going to be playing it either way, so I might as well see if you guys want to join in on the fun. Good. All right, quest complete. Let's see what what what's here. Anything good? Power wand and chainmail. Neither of which I can actually use. Oh uh, man. So here it says uh, at the top right. I don't know if you can actually see it with it. You probably can actually. I think it's just my sidebar that's in the way. But it's like a T1 versus. It's like all based on tiers. I don't know what the highest tier is, but I'm pretty sure it's like five or six. I think. I I mean I've never had like the top tier weapons to be honest with you. I just I just don't live long enough. I just don't live long. Okay, so somebody must have killed him. Or, I don't know. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. Either way, the the quest was changed to this elf wizard down here instead of that elf wizard up there, which is fine with me. He doesn't have anything that I can use. Well, what the heck is that skull? I'm gonna grab it just so I can check it out. Uh, used by used by a necromancer. Cool, cool. That's the goal. That's the goal is to get up there to the necromancer. He's kind of stuck in there. Okay. It, yeah, sometimes it does like weird kind of like laggy stuff. Not where it, like it's actually lagging. I I have really decent internet here. Uh, really decent. I like how I said that. <laughs> I didn't say I said really good. I said it's really okay. It's not just okay. It's very okay. <laughs> it's yeah. It's more than okay. But um, so I, I it's not really a lag problem. I think it's either like a sticky keyboard problem, which I don't really know why, or I think it might actually be a server issue. Um, like just the game sometimes I feel is a little bit unresponsive. But it's a free-to-play game. Like, what what really more could you ask for from a game like this, where you just go around kind of shooting things, having a good time, kind of screwing around a little bit? Oh, I can grab that. It's a comet staff. Great. That sounds cool. We're gonna we're gonna equip it. Shots two. It does more damage. It does more damage. Cool. Fantastic. All right, let's go kill this goblin mage now. It almost seems like it shoots faster too. I don't really know if that's for sure, but it kind of feels like it does shoot faster. We're going to come over here, do some explosive damage to this guy. Oh, and all his friends. Holy cow, there's a lot of people here. Got to keep an eye on my health at the same time that I do all this damages. So we're going to pop another one of those. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting low. We're getting low. We're kind of stuck. Kind of stuck. Okay, we're going to pop a health pot. Good, 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 good. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Just dip, dip dive, dodge, dip, and dodge. That's the plan. As they just fire behind me. Try to kill people. Let me go see if I can't grab that pot. Because I might actually need it in this fight. And I keep trying to kill these guys. There you go. He seems to be running away now or something. He He's not too happy with me. Oh, it looks like this tree's kind of blocked my shots. Okay. Man, get off my tail. Try to pepper this guy. Really kind of need some more defense. Even though, like, I'm, I'm never going to get that much defense because I'm a mage. But uh, I really do need something to help limit this. Because I'm just getting torn apart right now by these guys. Just, like, pretty much absolutely torn apart. Like, they're doing so much damage to me. I just, I, I have to, like, try to avoid every single shot. And uh, you don't want to have to avoid every shot. You want to be able to, like, pick and choose. Like, alright, I probably have to run into this one if I'm going to. So what was that? I actually can't read it because of the stupid sizing. The Robe of the Apprentice. Plus three defense, plus one wisdom. I'll take it. Plus three defense is a big deal right now. That means instead of doing eight, they'll be doing like five. Sha. Alrighty. Let's see here. Let's, uh, come on, come on. Doing some damage. Trying to avoid most of his. Alright, we killed him. Nothing good there. Actually, I actually could use some health pots. Like the mana potion is not really a big deal, honestly, because if you have to, you can always just run away. Um, okay, let's kill this guy. He's my next quest. Fantastic. And um, these guys right here are so obnoxious because they kind of take quite a bit of damage, to be honest. But more or less, they're really fast and kind of uh, just annoying in that way. This guy, what he does is he gets mad at you. He poops out a bunch of babies that run around him in a circle and then he like fire breathes on you <laughs> but uh, he's not too bad he's just it's just a little bit interesting is this a cloak of the apprentice yeah this is another same same thing rub the apprentice all right let's go kill this this next quest ladies and gentlemen how are you guys doing today i, I don't even know how many people are going to actually watch this series because i feel like a lot of people probably don't know about this game but uh i do highly suggest that you you try it especially if it's just like 
I like to play it in between other games. Like when I'm waiting for my league queue to pop or something. Um, or if I'm waiting for like friends to join me. I'll just hop on this real quick. And it doesn't take long just to grind a level or two. And just kind of hang out. Kill some guys. Some baddies. Grab that magic pop. That's what it means. MP. I'd rather call it a mana pot though to be honest. We're almost there. Come on. I need a sip of water. Whew. Talking can be challenging, guys. It can be hard work. Alright, so they changed my target to this guy who's closer. That's good. That's good. I'm okay with that. We're going to kill him pretty easily, I feel. I'm still taking a lot of damage, but uh, I'm certainly dealing quite a bit too at this point. Okay, there's the next, there's the next quest over here. Sometimes I feel like it switches you to a closer quest. And sometimes it just doesn't. A lot of times when you spawn in, it'll just be like, yo, wherever you're at, go like 50 miles north, and then maybe you'll find a quest. Typically, though, when you go in, all right, level 6, we, we, we are making progress here for sure. But typically when you go in from kind of like the outer edges uh, towards the center, away from the beach, typically, uh, you do kind of get harder and harder monsters. Like this guy now wants me to kill a shambling smudge, uh, which I'm okay with. I mean, I could probably take it, to be honest with you. I just have to play it a little bit safe, a little bit careful at this point still. When you when you die, your, your character is perma-dead. You know, it, it's uh, you can restart another one. It doesn't take too long to actually get here, so it's not like it's actually a huge deal when you die. I mean, it depends on what you have. If you grind it all the way up there to the very tippy, tippy, tippy top, and you have like all the best armor and stuff like that, and you're just like taking on the big bosses every day, it could be pretty disappointing. But typically, if you play like me, and you play you play through a class just to kind of see what it has in store and to unlock other classes, if you play like that, you're not gonna have too much of an issue with uh, with, with making them. Oh, don't be so mad, man. Bro, just chill, chill. Those those things are just so big, they're scary. What is it? That looks really cool. Warrior and Knight. We'll grab that. As I dodge some guys. Try to dodge. And what's the, is this another apprentice or what? Or the apprentice still? Yeah, these guys are staying out of range, just like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you from here because you can't see me, so it's pretty smart to be honest. That like that's, that's kinda smart. Rover the apprentice still. Yeah, I do kind of want to get up into the next tier of uh, of goodies, but I also kind of want a ring, which I'm kind of surprised hasn't fallen yet, to be 100% honest. I think I'm saying that too much, to be honest. TBH. Sometimes in uh, when you see these kind of like blocks, you can get to some pretty cool places where there's like chests and stuff like that. They can have some pretty sick loot. But you know, we're definitely getting to the point now where we're going to get monsters that are a little bit more challenging for us. But at the same time, they're going to give us more experience and uh, and better loot. So at the same time as it being a bad thing, it's also kind of a good thing. Ooh, I don't know if that was me doing damage to him or him doing damage to me. That, that, that was kind of scary. We're going to definitely pop this guy pretty hard, as hard as we can. It seems like it does about like 15, 11 damage to me when, when these little guys hit. Like, shouldn't you be, like, susceptible to fire, I think, I feel? But these guys, you can see, like, the other guys are giving me, like, five. The little guys are giving me, like, three to five experience. These guys are giving me ten, and they're considered the little guys. So, uh, try to kill this guy as fast as I can. Probably stay out of the water, to be honest, so I can increase my kiting abilities. And there's a, um, a wyvern here. Is that what they're called? I don't remember what they're called, honestly. And, and Okay, so killed him. So that's good. I really wanted to kill him first because what it, what it means is he's going to stop spawning these little demons on us. Horn Drake, that's what they are. Alright, and they have their baby Horn Drake too. I do want to kill him. I do want to kill him. So this guy, does not he's not too bad. You know, he's got just some AoE fire, some which is not too hard to avoid. Um, just kind of got to be a little bit careful with him. Like, I'm taking some serious damage. I'm going to pop a potion because it's just not worth dying. You know, you lose, you lose it all. You have to start from the beginning. Ooh, this guy's a little bit tougher than I remember him being. He's doing a little bit more damage than I remember. I almost feel like we're, we may not be ready for, for these levels of quests. But, like, since I'm here, I want to kill him. I want to finish him off. There you go. His baby's running away now. We're going to kill his baby. It's just the kind of person I am. 
Just sick like that. No, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm going to kind of walk back towards this way, though. I don't really want to kill a wasp queen. Like, seriously, I'm kind of scared right now. I kind of want to stick down here. That, that horn drake was a bit harder than I remember. And a little bit scary. Like, these guys, too, are just taking, like, forever to kill. And they only give me six, you know, experience. Or nine, I think it maybe it was. But they're taking so long to kill. Eight for that one. Yeah. I don't know. Do we follow what the game suggests? And go for the Hornet Wasp, or do we kind of run back towards the shore and just kind of farm the easy levels for a little bit? I don't feel like I have the gear necessary to actually compete in this in this kind of like area. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're gonna port home. Ah, oh, it's so cheap, but I do it all the time. It's actually acceptable though. It's generally considered acceptable. It, it's there's like a little section right here in the top right that uh, you can just kind of port home if you if you can if you have to. Whew, that was intense. We're going to go on the really busy server now. Is what we're going to do. I promise that's not like too scummy. It's a little bit scummy to do that. I don't know. Sometimes I feel scummy about it. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> but uh, it's typically better than dying and losing everything. That was just, all of a sudden they were just a swarm of them. If you can get up here and hit that button in time, I say good for you. Um, it's not worth dying over. What is this? Is it where it, like tall died? Oh, there's a lot of guys here. Wait, what's going on there? They like pets of the dudes or some shit like that. What's this? Is that better? Comment. This is better. What a lucky find right here, sitting here. Is this better too? Did, wait, did somebody like drop this stuff or die? Uh, th 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 that's great. Rubber the. That's that's a lot more than what I had. I, mean, I guess it's just really one more defense and ten max, you know, stuff, but. I'll put this stuff down here actually. Because maybe somebody else can use it then. I'll be kind. Like others were kind to me. <laughs> there you go. So I got like an upgraded staff now. Or a higher upgraded staff and one more defense. I mean one more defense isn't really gonna make the biggest difference, but I really want a different uh spell at this point. A stronger spell would be very beneficial to clearing these higher level uh mobs, as well as Alright, there's a lot of guys here. We're going to clear these off first before I kind of go any further. And backtrack a little bit. Like, I'm doing a ton of damage to these guys. These guys are pretty easy. They're still doing damage to me, though. Like, th this is definitely one of those one of those classes where you kind of just be careful because you're so squishy. You know? The priest is squishy, too, though. I'm sure the necromancer is going to be squishy. The, the priest and the necromancer will have the ability to heal themselves a little bit. Which will just, you know, if you keep it pretty steady, you can kind of like keep track of all that stuff. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, so off to my left, you might see that squiggly little design that, like, uh, he's so annoying because he does that. If he hits you, it confuses you and you go in random directions. And yet it has, like, super range and he takes a lot of damage, too. It's probably one of the most annoying uh, of all the mobs in this game to be. Wow, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not, I've said that too much. After this, uh, after this boss, we're probably gonna go for this episode. But I hope you guys do enjoy it. Oh my gosh! I didn't stand a chance. I did. I didn't stand a chance. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There you have it. The uh, the wizard played through right there for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back to play uh, either a different. Maybe maybe we'll try the priest next, or maybe we'll try the wizard again. We'll be back though to play again. Thank you guys very much for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that great, awesome, fun stuff. You know I really do appreciate it. And peace out.